Hey everybody, happy Sunday. Um, not feeling well. That's why I still have my silly plaques in my head that I twisted my um, Lola's um, hair up with. I'll let y'all know how it goes after I shampoo it again this week. Um, I'm probably gonna shampoo my hair on Friday because even though I got it installed on Thursday, I'm gonna get it shampooed on Friday. Well, my last video I put up with my Michael Kors bag, the bag that I kept and the bag that I'm using is my rose, the one with the rose, the Hamilton with the rose gold hardware. Uh, I brought that other satchel bag. It reminds me of the uh, Jet Set satchel, Safiano satchel. I brought that sucker bag. Um, it wasn't my bag. It wasn't my size for one. Y'all know I like big bags. Anybody that know me know I like a big bag that I can stuff my stuff in and if I don't see the bottom of it, that's good because they give me a chance to be able to put more stuff in it. My scalp dry. I got to go put some oil on my scalp tonight. I put some on it every other night because I don't want to, you know, I oil my hair every other night. Even though I moisturize this part, I oil it every other night. But that's not what this video is about. So let me get to what. So I went to the outlet. Now I'm going to tell you, one thing I bought from the outlet that I thought was a, just an impulse buy, unnecessary buy, was when I went to Kate Spade because I had been looking. And I picked this up when I picked that bag up. I went to the Kate Spade outlet. And I have been looking for this since last year. And this is the 2014 Zip Round Planner. I think it's an ideal planner. But I don't use planners in the right way. I don't use planners in the right way. I just use them as what you call them. So I can use a regular notepad for that purpose. I don't need to pay a hundred dollars for it because it was regular uh 165 regular 165 that's why i said i need to chill with my my wants i had this on my list it was regular 198 but the outlet price was 165 and then it was additional 40 percent off so i got it for like one a hundred dollars 107 dollars and some change with tax that was with the tax included and that was from the case based store but this is a big I'm gonna see what I'll see is if I uh, don't use the notebook, if I take that notebook and that planner out my purse that I have, this will probably be able to condense those two things into one. So, but I'm still iffy on it because I don't use planners. I even though I write stuff down every day, I could have a regular notepad in my purse for that purpose. But the only thing is, I like the fact that I can conceal stuff in here. So that that's a big if right now that's a big if right now so anyway um i went back to the outlet i brought that purse back now that purse when i bought it it turns out that purse was um I, my e receipt said i paid 321 and some coins probably 321 35 or 65 something to that nature for that purse but it was so small so uh it was on it was regular $3.98 on sale for $3.49 there, and then it was on sale again with another $50 off. Um it's crazy because my um husband and I were laughing about it because he said you just picked that bag up just to pick a bag up. He said, I knew when you looked at it, you were looking at it and you were him and hawing over, but it was like a oh I'm gonna go ahead and do it because just because, you know. And that's how you feel. My straps are showing. My straps and my tank top is showing. So anyway, um, that's what I did. I uh, picked that up as an impulse buy because my intent was not to purchase another black bag. Like I said, I'm trying to venture out away from black, uh, camel color, camel, the luggage color, Michael Kors bag. Uh, I have a raw blue one. Uh, what else? I have the denim python print Hamilton. Uh, what else do I have? I have that burgundy one. So I, I try to change my colors up because I'm tired of the same thing. Even the monogram grace, I could wear that whenever I want to. And that's what I do. So I'm getting away from the norm, my norm that people are used to seeing with me. You know, colors, um, mm -mm. Like this, this the most color I wear in a shirt. And that, that green shirt was the most color I wear in shirts. I do basic colors. Raw blue, uh, black, brown, 
denim. You know, I do stuff like that unless it's my work clothes. My work uniform. Well, now that I'm in another position, I don't wear the uniform anymore. So anyway, back to back to um, this return. So the bag I returned was that that satchel. It was three twenty one. Well, you know the outlet. I didn't. I wasn't going there to get my money back anyway because I read the receipt and I know their policies. So they do even exchanges or store credit. So um, I ended up with this. This was for 30 bucks, I believe. Yeah, because I had 32 bucks. It must have been 39 and I had to pay. Yeah, it was $39 because it was regular 69 78 regular 69 I got this for my daughter. This I know I wouldn't be able to use unless I was going to the grocery store and or somewhere quick. I don't even know what this is called. Uh, this passport case. So I got this for my daughter. Um because she just so happened to be with me when I was doing my return. In fact, she's the one who helped me pick out, pick out the bag I ended up getting, which is a bag similar to a bag that I have. So I have two bags, two, two sets of bags. Well, I actually have, yeah, two sets of bags that's the same color. I mean, different colors. So um, this is one in the my MK monogram, the vanilla with, yeah, it's vanilla color. So it's a vanilla and a Safiano inside. So this is for her. I got to drop it off to her because she left that in a phone case in my bag when I came upstairs. So anyway, um, but this is the bag I ended up getting. It's all wrapped in the plastic. It's all wrapped in the plastic. And the reason I hadn't taken it out because I know when I finish um, taking it out, I have to spray her. Because this particular stuff things easily. And this is the better uh, holding bag. I have a video with this exact same purse in the luggage color. In the kind of a luggage color. I have a cotton and a wallet to match it. Match the uh, tan one I have like this. But I got this. The color is Mandarin. It's the Bedford Large Satchel, regular price, $349. I got it for $269 at the Michael Force Outlet in Cypress. Ah, this style bag suits me fine. This size bag suits me fine. The inside it has a slip pocket back here where I used to keep my keys. Um, the strap, you can hook the strap on to this side or you can hook it right here. But what I'll do is hook them right here because I find that that's easier to use as a crossbody to hook it crossways. This bag is, this color was popping to mama yesterday when she was in the store. And when I was in the store, I had picked up the exact same bag in this color. And I held it up and I'm like, nah, I pass. And let it say, why? It's a, it's a pretty color. It's going to be a beautiful color for you for spring and summer. I said, I'm going to tell you my reason for passing. The size. I know with this bag, I can stuff it and stuff it. It gets soft and supple. It gets slouchy. It gets full because it's stuffed with paper now. And that's why I prefer. No, I went to Katie Mills and got this one. I didn't go to Cypress. I got the original bag from Cypress. I went to Katie Mills and got this one. I got that Kate Spade thing in Cypress. That's why I got it. So anyway, um... The reason it has the MK logo right here, and this sucker was heavy on this bag. This bag can get pretty heavy. Um, I asked my daughter if she wanted the camel one. She said no, quite naturally. Look, don't you start that today. Here come my oldest son. I always get bombed. Turn up, man. <laughs> See, See, I up. always get bombed. Get out my face. Turn up, man. Get out. <laughs> See what I go through. And that's the oldest one. He's 21. So, anyway, um, I always end up with, it never fails. So, you needed a new one? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, anyway, I always end up with a new one, but the same style. Because, I, you know what you like, basically. And I always did like this style of bag. I always said I wanted a bright color. I was either, It was either this or the green. Now, um, I set the 
I sent a picture of the color of the bag to my sister. I have a sister who's a handbag fanatic, like I am. And I told her, I said, I have a camel color bag just like this one. I said, would you want it? And she was like, my sister loves me. I said, I do. I wish I do. I love my sister. I love my sister Bill. Um, because my daughter told me which one she wanted from me and said I have to think about that. But that's what I do. I pass my bags down from uh, either my sister or my daughter. Oh, yeah. And my daughter basically likes it all. So I'm going to cover her back up until I, I spray her and hang her up this evening because uh, even though this is spring, doesn't officially start until March March 20th, 21st, one of those days. Uh, <laughs> Think about my nutty son. Uh, it doesn't start till the 20th or the 21st. Uh, my spring will start on March 1st. And which September 28th, I'll be out of town. So I will be bringing my purse with me out of town because that's how my mama starts her spring off. I wanted something bright. I got it. It's a bright orange. And it it looks orange. And then again, it looks like a hot pink. And then again, it looks red. So it depends on how you look at it. But it's really the mandarin color. Hot. When I say beautiful. So I'm thinking. I'm thinking because my trainer starts at 12 tomorrow. And I'm an early bird. So with me getting up early tomorrow morning, I'm going to start my train. I'm going to go. I've been putting off every day. I say I'm gonna go get my nails done. I put off and put off and put off. I'm gonna go early, go to the shop where I normally go, and on a Monday, I know they don't have nobody that early in the morning. They open for nine, so with them opening for nine, I'll go there get my um, nails done with a cut. One of my nails is that cut, that hot orange. Start my spring. Start my March off right. So anyway, that's enough of me rambling. That's enough of that. Um, that planner, mm, still got a question about it. I'm going uh, to talk to my homegirl about it because she she and I are basically on the same level with stuff and with uh, how I operate. She know how I operate. So she'll tell me, because right now I have three notepads. I have one with my daily schedule in it, one with my uh, things I need to do, and one with the to-do list. I always have a to-do list. Uh, but really not a to-do list, stuff I need to do before the end of the month. So I I can kind of condense that because I, it's too much going on. It's too much going on at one time. So anyway, um, I'll talk to y'all later. I'm going to head out and go to, yeah, I'm going to head out because it's, I'm going to just look like Seal for the rest of the day. Bye.